Hey guys, I'm Mimo, the Skin Enthusiast, and welcome to my channel where we take skincare one day at a time because skincare is not a sprint but it's a marathon. So, if you like fun and informative skincare content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. And also, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Mimo, the Skin Enthusiast, where I post more skincare related content. This video took a long time coming because, as you can see from the title, this is an empties video, and I want to get through at least four or five cleansing balms or oils before I made this video. So, it took a few months uh, for me to get to this point, but finally, here we are. Anyway, I want to ask you guys, are you team double cleanse or single cleanse? Personally, I am team double cleanse. I mean, I am through and through team double cleanse. A double cleanse is necessary for me in my PM routine to make sure that my skin is clean. Clean from all the gunk, dirt, SPF, or any tinted moisturizer that I wear throughout the day. So. By doing a double cleanse, I have that peace of mind that my skin is clean. So, I've started doing double cleanse around four or five years back and I've never looked back. And I think I'll never stop doing a double cleanse. So in this video, I'm gonna review five cleansing oils plus bombs which I have emptied throughout the months. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I liked about it, uh, if there is something I didn't like about it, or if I'm gonna repurchase it. Anyway, a quick disclaimer before we head into the products. I'm not a dumb told or institution, but I test try and do my own research in so many skincare products and ingredients so I'm just sharing with you all my personal experience. You ready for today's video? I'm ready. So let's get straight into today's video. So let's head to the first empty of this video, which is Benilla & Co Clean Zero Cleansing Balm, which is the purifying version. Now, Benilla & Co is a very, very famous brand when it comes to cleansing balms. And I think this is an OG cleansing balm, especially when it comes to K-Beauty. Um, the original version of this comes in the pink tub. I think that's, uh, I think that's the most famous version of this cleansing balm because that is like the regular version and nowadays they've come out with so many different versions of this cleansing balm. Actually I've tried the pink version which is the regular version uh, around two years back and when I wanted to try Benilla & Co again I thought that I'll get something different from the regular version which is uh, the purifying version. The purifying version is meant for sensitive skin but doesn't mean that this doesn't work. I mean this works amazingly well. This is able to remove everything off very easily, emulsifies perfectly and washes off without having any uh, residue. Now this cleansing balm is mineral oil free. I mean, I don't have a problem with mineral oil. I mean, it doesn't bother my skin so it doesn't matter for me if it has mineral oil or not, especially in a wash off product like this. But some people avoid mineral oil for various reasons. Uh, but it's good to know that it doesn't have mineral oil. So if you're someone who actively avoids mineral oil, so definitely you can try this out. Talking about the oils it contains, it has argan oil and evening primrose oil as well. Now, those two are great oils to have in skincare. So looking at some other great ingredients this cleansing balm contains, it has green tea extract, which is really soothing for the skin and it has antioxidant properties. It has licorice root extract, one of my favorite favorite ingredients in skincare. It's really soothing for the skin, calming for the skin. At the same time, licorice root extract is great for brightening the skin. It also has uh, calendula and chamomile extract as well. So those two are known to be really calming for the skin. As this version of the cleansing balm is meant for sensitive skin, and I think it makes sense that it has all these great ingredients in it. And it also comes with um, a small spatula so that you know you can scoop out the product so you don't have to like dig your finger in it. So now, um, will I ever repurchase this? I actually wouldn't mind repurchasing this. You know, I really enjoyed using this and I think it's a great cleansing balm. And not just for sensitive skin, I think all skin types uh, would love this cleanser because it's not too heavy, not too lightweight, and it does a great job in removing everything off and it includes all these great ingredients in it. So I might actually get one of these again, but for now, bye-bye. So the second empty is the Kose Softimo Deep Cleansing Oil. I've actually featured this product in my three-step K-Beauty skincare routine for starters. I've actually linked the video somewhere so you can go and check it out. I've actually shown the texture of this product, how it emulsifies and everything in that video. Now this cleansing oil is a mixture of some great oils. It has rice bran oil, safflower seed oil, macadamia seed oil, uh, jojoba seed oil, olive oil, but this also has mineral oil. I mean, as I've mentioned earlier, mineral oil doesn't bother my skin. 
I don't know why mineral oil has gotten such a bad rep in the skincare world. I think the bad reputation of mineral oil come from the same place as how Vaseline has gotten a bad reputation in the skincare world because it's a byproduct of the petroleum industry. I mean, petroleum jelly is literally a byproduct of the petroleum industry, but it doesn't mean that it's toxic for the skin. And the same thing for mineral oil. I mean, the cosmetic grade mineral oil is really highly refined and purified, so it's not dirty or toxic. So I don't think there is a reason that you need to fear mineral oil in skincare products, especially in a wash of product like this. So talking about the texture of this product, this doesn't have the lightest texture that you can imagine. It has a slight heaviness to it. I mean, it's not too heavy. It, it glides on the skin beautifully well, but it has a slight thickness to it. So I think people who have dry skin would actually love this. When I got this product, the first thing I noticed was the smell of this oil. I mean, it doesn't have any added fragrance or anything. It's just the natural aroma or the natural fragrance of the oils in it. I mean, it's not the most nicest smell, but within a week of use, I've gotten used to it. So if you avoid fragrance in skincare or essential oils in skincare, that's what you get, right? Like the natural aroma of these products. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's okay with me, but it was like, slightly like off putting when i was putting on my face initially like in the first week of use but that's okay again this works really well on the skin to remove everything all the gunk dirt spf and so this would remove all your makeup like your waterproof mascara a foundation and stuff like that as well and emulsifies really well and it washes off without having a residue on your skin so i actually wouldn't mind repurchasing this i actually liked it actually if I'm gonna repurchase, I think I'm gonna try the other version of the Soft Tea Mode Cleansing Oil. I think it's called the Speed, the pink version. So I might actually try it and then compare it, like how it performs um, in comparison with this. So in the next empties video, I can um, tell you guys like how it performs in comparison with this. So for now, again, bye-bye. All right, so moving on to the third empty of this video, which is the Hamish All Clean Balm. Now, this is also a very, very famous cleansing balm in the K-beauty sphere. It comes with a nice flip top and also a spatula. I love that. So talking about the texture of this cleansing balm, it's not too heavy or it's not too light. It's somewhere in the middle and I think all skin types would love the texture of this cleansing balm because it really melts off nicely when you just warm it up on the hand and it glides on the face really smoothly. This works really well in removing all this gunk, SPF, tinted moisturizers, BB creams and everything on the face. And this would work really well to remove uh, your waterproof makeup as well. So when it comes to cleansing the skin, this really does a good job. But here's the thing, it's supposed to give you a spa type of cleansing experience with a natural aroma in it. So when you actually think of a spa-like experience, it's it's calming, it's relaxing, it's natural, it's, it's really nice, right? I mean, that's the idea that you have when you think of a spa experience, but I don't know why the scent was really off-putting for me. It has a mixture of essential oils like lavender oil, uh, grapefruit, permagot, orange peel oil. I mean, I really don't have a problem with essential oils in skincare, especially in a wash of product. But I really didn't like that mixture. I mean, the fragrance of the essential oils in this product. I mean, it might only be me or... If you have tried this, please let me know if you like the fragrance of it. And I'm someone who doesn't have a problem with fragrance or essential oils in skincare. I mean, it, for me, it elevates experience when there is a nice fragrance to it, but I don't know, just, it really didn't work for me. The fragrance part, the cleansing part, this does a good job. So other than the essential oils and the fragrance part, uh, this contains shea butter and coconut fruit extract. Not coconut oil, coconut fruit extract. I mean, those two ingredients can be really beneficial for dry skin and it's two great ingredients to have in skincare. So will I repurchase this? I mean, uh, this does a great job in cleansing the skin. And I love the flip top, the spatula and everything. It's just a fragrance, so I might not repurchase this just because of how it smells. So I might not see you again. Who knows? So moving on to the fourth empty of this video, which is not a cleansing balm or cleansing oil, 
but it's a cleansing milk. It's a Cosrx low pH first cleansing milk gel. Unfortunately, this product has been discontinued. I mean, uh, I was looking through the Cosrx website, I didn't see it, and I was checking other Korean websites and I didn't see it. Maybe Cosrx is reformulating this, repackaging it, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why they discontinued it. This is a good one. This is a really gentle first cleanser. I mean, this is great for days that you're not wearing any kind of makeup or any kind of heavy stuff on your face. You're just with your sunscreen, uh, maybe a tinted moisturizer. So a cleansing milk is a great way to remove everything off like as a first cleanser, but unfortunately, it's not there anymore. I think those with sensitive skin would really love this product, especially oily sensitive skin types uh, who doesn't want to use a cleansing balm or an oil uh, as their first cleanser. This contains olive oil and papaya fruit extract, and it also has witch hazel extract. I know some people will get irked by witch hazel, but for me, witch hazel is completely fine in a wash off product, and this particular cleansing milk. Uh, it didn't really like strip my skin or anything so the witch hazel didn't really strip my skin and I'm fine with that. And although it contains olive oil, it doesn't feel oily or anything, it's just a nice cleansing milk. So since this is discontinued, I won't be able to repurchase this or else I would have repurchased it. Um, I might see you again if Cosrx brings it back, I don't know, so for now. Bye. So head to the last but not the least empty of this video, which is Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got this because of the skincare YouTuber Susan Yara because she spoke some good stuff about this cleanser and oh boy, I'm glad that I got this and I tried this because this is everything I want in a cleansing balm or an oil. This is literally everything I want in a first cleanse. This checks all the right boxes. So looking at the ingredient list, this contains uh, sunflower seed oil, uh, moringa seed oil, and also ginger root oil, like all great oils, like no problem with that. This also contains papaya fruit extract, which has a brightening effect on the skin, as well as turmeric root extract, which has anti-inflammatory properties and all nice ingredients to be in a skincare product, right? This also contains some essential oils like bermagot oil and orange peel oil, obviously as fragrant uh, compounds, which I don't have a problem with. Uh, and the smell is fresh and light. It doesn't linger around. And I would actually call this one a spa experience, a nice, a relaxing spa experience, a nice spa cleansing experience. I actually love how fresh it smells. Yeah, love that. This has a nice medium weight texture that, that melts beautifully on the skin and uh, glides really smoothly on the skin. So I think all skin types would actually love how it feels on the skin. And most importantly, this removes everything off the face effectively. This is great in uh, removing everything off and this is a great first cleanser. Other than that, this emulsifies well and uh, washes off amazingly well without leaving any kind of residue on your skin. And I had an amazing time using this and will I ever repurchase this? Is that even a question? Obviously, yes. I was actually sad to see this one finishing off because the fragrance and everything, it's just like, <laughs> And it doesn't and it doesn't like uh, dry out the skin as well. So yes, a really good one. But for now, so that is my five cleansing oils plus balm empties. And if you have tried any of these products, please let me know your experience down in the comment section. And if you have any other recommendations for me to try, please let me know down as well. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Nemo the Skin Enthusiast. And I'll see you guys next week with more skincare content. Bye.